moi. Hi. I'm Linda. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? Hey guys, five more minutes before bed, okay? Hey. Emily is having a birthday party on Saturday. I was wondering if I could go. Gracie, this is his second birthday this oh month. God. But if I don't go, I'm gonna be the only one in my class that's not there. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's on the 23rd. Uh, babe, do we have anything? It looks like we're clear. Mm. Uh, I was thinking I could drive. Mm. No, you are not driving to this Absolutely. birthday party. Hello? Hi, Miss Goddard. Shh. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we understand. Sounds good. All right, thank you. So that was Miss Goddard. Mm. You put our names on an emergency list? Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, we definitely need to clean up. You have an extra bed, right? Yes, we have an extra bed. Gracie, go upstairs and make sure that the bed is ready. Make sure that the bathroom's clean. Cuidado con la miradita. Cuidado, let's go. All right, babies. Come on, Levi. Hey, bud, come on. We gotta get up. Let's go. Hey. She's all good. Thank you. Hey. How are you doing? I know what, it's been a rough night. I just talked to the family, who you're gonna be staying with. They're so excited to meet you, and they are wonderful people, okay? If you need anything, they'll be more than happy to get it for you, okay? I'm gonna be back to check on you in a few days. <laughs> Your Honor, this is Maddox. Hi, Maddox. Maddox is a superhero because he's being adopted today. Whoa. Congratulations, young man. You excited to go to your new family, Maddox? Yeah. You are? Yeah. I'm excited for you. Why are you embarrassed of me? It's not that I'm embarrassed of you. I just don't understand the things you do sometimes. I know this is how you're dealing with the loss. What's his name? You can't even say his name? Don't do this to me. Do what? Talk to my husband? He was your son too. He loved you. Ladies and gentlemen, the next congressman from the great state of Ohio. Let's hear it for Congressman Jason Campbell. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here this evening. It's a great honor to be in front of you all today. All right, let's keep it going. All right, folks, we have a special guest tonight. Do you know who her husband is? Is Cindy Ann Carson. <laughs> What do you mean you never went to school? Dummies don't go to school. Wait a minute, who called you a dummy? Wayne, have you met Jason? Well, I mean, I've done, a, you know, reporting on him, of course, but I haven't met him in person yet. You know, for a politician, it seems to be on the level, you know? <laughs> have you ever thought about going into public office? You mean like politics? Yeah. No, never. <laughs> What? What is that? I'll never say never. When you were a lawyer, you said you would never want to be judge. In fact, you were adamant about it, if I recall. Okay, well, you, Wayne, have said many things too, sir, so... Well, yeah, I mean, I remember saying that I wanted to play golf tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the answer is, is no. No, no politics for me. Oh, sorry. 
I'm sorry. No, no I'm no sorry. That's, I'm gonna, anyone need a refill? Uh, need anything? I'm good, thank you. Enjoy. Awesome, thank you. You got it. Good job, man, how you doing? Two glasses of wine. Absolutely. Come your way. Thank you. What was that about? What? No, I, I don't know. Come on, your reaction to Barb touching your hand. What was that? I, I have no idea. Come on. She likes you, man. I mean, this, this is good. I think she's bright. She's never been married. She's got no kids. Just moved here from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Yeah. How does Tara know her? Church, I think. Oh, got her number for you. You're kidding me. There you go. You can thank me later. You are unbelievable. Hey, yo, my sister having a baby, man. Come for me. Hey, um, my sister Tabitha is having a baby. Okay, she just went into labor. Okay. So if you want to wait with the family. Um, the doctor will be down in a minute. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you sure that's his family? I guess so. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't recognize your number, but uh, Wayne never asked for mine. I, you know, I, I, I would have asked. Well, I'm glad that you would have asked. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, uh, it's been a while, so. Uh, so, um, Wayne, uh, Wayne said that you had just moved here from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, why, why did you move here? My mother lives here, so I just wanted to be close to her. Well, that's, that's nice. Uh, um, so do you go to church? I'm sorry? <laughs> church. Uh, church. I, um, is that important to you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really go. Would you go with me tomorrow? You know what? Yes. I, you know what? I, I think I can. I can. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the little engine that could. <laughs> it's just, uh, where and when? Uh, first Christian, 11 a.m.? I, I know the place. Great. I will see you then. Great. Uh, I'll see you then. What a dork. Folks, um, she's fine, and the baby's just fine. Both are together and resting. 
<laughs> Dr. I'm Darla Towns from the Piedmont Adoption Agency. Can I get updates on when we can take the child okay, away? Okay, I know. As soon as the baby is safe and cleared to travel, we'll certainly let you know, okay? In the meantime, I'll let Tabitha know that the adoptive family is here. Thank you. Excuse me, doctor. Doctor. Ma'am. Tabitha's my sister. Can I go see her? Yeah, of course. Come with me. Drake. This is for her. Congratulations. Hey. hey, what's up? This is Gabrielle. Gab. <laughs> hey, I um, got her something. Aww. Got this for her. Look what your uncle got you. Your first toy. Hey, um, they, um, they're outside. Yeah, no. She's gonna try to hit you, okay? You have to be really quiet. Mama has friends over. Shh, I'm serious. You have to be quiet. Morning. I didn't even know you were awake. <sighs> Did you sleep okay? Oh, those are Gracie's pajamas. They look good. Oh, I'm you. sorry. No. They, they were just there. Oh, it's okay. It's I okay. Just... It's okay. They look good. I like what you did with it. Are you hungry? Yeah? Come, well, let's get you some breakfast. You must be starving. I didn't even realize you were up. All right, so I've made a big breakfast. So, so good. I hope you're hungry. I really do, because there's eggs, there's bacon, and there's bagels, whatever you want. Can I get you some orange juice? Is that okay? Is that good? Okay. I love orange juice with my breakfast, so. I know you're wondering where everybody else is at. They're all at church. I just wanted it to be me and you today. I hope that's okay. Do I have to go to school? Mm. At some point. Did you go to school now? I did with the last family. Okay. Did you like it? Emma? <laughs> um, so how many families have you stayed with? Um, including my aunt and uncle, uh, Three or four. Okay. Now, was that with your mom and dad? I, I, I don't know, but I like bacon. Mm, girl, me too. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. What do you want to do today? Today is just me and you. So, I mean, we can go to the trampoline park. We can go to the mall. Girl, we can go bowling, whatever you want. Can I just stay here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course you can. You can, you can stay here. Promise. Yeah. Promise. Drake, how's your sister? She's good. good. Look, is there anything we can do to make this easier for you? Yeah. Just leave us alone. I will never forget meeting your sister. We weren't even looking to adopt right away, but then she saw us, she picked our profile. Yeah, I, I know, okay, I, I know. Y'all met 
Okay, y'all can give it a home and, and raise it and all, but it's not fair. Just because we live over here and you live over here doesn't give you the right to take her baby. Her right? Excuse me. I... <sighs> we'll just keep trying. What the right thing does most of my fingers say? Could you help me with the zipper? Yes, of course. Hey. Emma, um... What happened to you? <laughs> Emma, it's okay. Emma? 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 I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. and onion, salt and pepper, queso. When I was a kid, we just had chips. What? When I was a little kid, my grandmother would say the same thing. So what do you do, Mr. Drake? I'm a dishwasher at the country club. That's good. So where is your grandma? And your mom? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Tabitha is all you have at home? Yes, ma'am. Something tells me if your grandma was alive, she would tell you that we're all God's children, wouldn't she? Yeah. I know what you're doing. What? And we're good. Thanks. I'm sorry. Your congressman couldn't make it. I'm not surprised. Hey, wait, wait. He sent me here to talk to you. Please. It's important. Why are you still doing those shows? This is a re-election year. We can't afford that type of attention. Attention? The wife of a United States congressman in nightclubs with puppets. It's crazy. Are you calling me crazy? No, ma'am. But he has some serious competition this year. I don't care, yeah. Tom. I, I figured you didn't. That's why he wants you to go to the beach house. Money. No. Airline tickets. And it's called ventriloquism. And please remind the congressman that Sean adored those puppets. He adored them. This is nice, huh? Yeah. So you're staying with your mom? Um, sorry? You said you were visiting your mom. Oh, uh, yeah, no, um, no, I'm just uh, spending time with her. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? So why don't you like church? Well, 
I like church. Okay, I, I just, I'm not sure I believe. You know, being a judge is, it's a lot like a church. Do you know how many people I see every day that find Jesus and want to tell me about it? Uh, well, Your Honor, I, yes, I, uh, I cheated on my wife with the babysitter, but I found Jesus, so I'm all better. Or, yes, I, uh, I abused my foster kids, Your Honor, but I found God, so I shouldn't go to jail. Oh, and this, 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 this one's my favorite, God's will. <laughs> That's a beauty. Yeah, it, it's God's will that I should do this, or I should do that, or, or that she should go away or die. Were you ready to order? Um, I think we're going to do that. I'm sorry. Hey, so we were trying on dresses. We were just trying on dresses, having a good time. And then she asked me to zip her up her dress. And my, her back is filled with bruises. Arm, I mean, it broke my heart. I know. It broke my heart. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely gonna need photos for documentation purposes, okay? But you need to understand that even with the photos, this still might not work. I don't think she's gonna go for pictures, honestly. And why would it work? For some reason, the mom always gets Emma back. I know, I know. She blames it all on the boyfriend. I read the entire case file. She gets bail. She files a petition to restore custody. How, how is that even possible? It honestly all comes down to the judge that's assigned to the case. He has all the power. I know, hey, I know, I know this is discouraging, but trust me, we're gonna fight this. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna give up on Emma. What are you reading? Do you read a lot? Do you watch TV? Do you talk? I just like reading. Listen, my parents, they already have four kids. I don't think that we're going to be taking in another one. No offense. What did your parents do to you? They must be really screwed up or else you would not be here. My dad is in jail, I think. Um, he writes letters sometimes. He said he's gonna visit once he gets out. And your mom? Emma. Emma. Ma? Emma. Ma? Emma. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't hey, do anything. But Casey, you what happened? Emma. 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 Oh, hey, God. Honey. Emma. Hey, hey let me see. Oh, this is Emma, look at me. Hey, we're right look. here. Look at me. Look at me. Are you okay if we take you to the hospital? Now? Hey, look at me. 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 Look Hey, isn't that Dad's college buddy? Are you spying on them? Not really, but we did fix them up. <laughs> you are such a creeper. <laughs> I'm going to sign up to be a big sister. Okay. I have to do a community service project, and it seemed easy. You know, incoming freshmen have to do one, mm -hmm. and just don't tell Dad. Okay. You know how he is. He'll overthink it. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome.
It's time. To Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, honey. She's gonna be okay. You know, she's with your mom. And your mom is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that her file? There's a lot of kids who don't have parents, huh? Fortunately, yes. Not everybody comes from a home like yours. Okay, I'm so sorry. I have to go. You'll be fine? Yeah, um, uh, mm. okay. Is Monday good? We'll give you a call. Thank you. Hi. Are you my three o'clock? <laughs> Let's see. Knock? Nope. Come on. Let's go golf. Hey, did you know that uh, most superheroes were adopted? Uh, yeah. Of course. Disney kills off the parents in the first five minutes of every movie. <laughs> so, a church date, huh? It wasn't a date. Whatever. How was it? It was good. It was good. Uh, we, we went to lunch. Lunch? That's quick. That's, that's nice. Yeah, no. It wasn't like that. Well, whatever it was... Uh, it's not going to be anything now because I kind of blew up at the table. Okay, so what did you do? Start talking about God. Oh, okay, it's never good not on a first date. It wasn't a date. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm sorry, man. Come on, go get your clubs. I mean, look, I like her, okay? But I still love my wife and I, I'm just not over it yet. Okay. Hey, Wayne, let me ask you, why does Tara go to church and you don't? It's, it's part of her job. Look, there are too many hypocrites in there for me. Hypocrites? Yeah, you know, it's... I just swore that I would never walk back in there. Uh, Tara wants to adopt. A kid? Uh, a superhero. Are you ready for that? I don't know. Yeah, you know, I've done those stories on adoption. You know, and they touch your heart, but there's always a stigma. I mean, you know all the woes and stuff. I just, I just never thought I'd have any other kids other than Jess. And it's miscarriages don't count. Sure they do. Hey, Edwin. Hey, Edwin. What in? Edwin. Edwin. Why aren't you answering my calls? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Uh, guy from the news. Yes, I am. Hi. Hi. I'm Linda Goddard. Oh, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Uh, Linda, hi. Um, look, when I ignore your calls, you should take the hint. Look, with all due respect, tomorrow morning, Rhonda Sowers is going to file a petition to restore custody of her 10-year-old daughter, Emma. Okay. Emma's being abused. What's that? 
Linda, this is not my case. I know. I know. It's Judge Bennett's. Okay, so then take it to Judge Bennett. I reviewed his files, okay? And he always selects parental placement. Okay, that's a good thing. No, it's not. Not in cases when these parents are repeatedly abusing these children. Linda, you're my cousin, but this is out of line. Listen, tomorrow morning, a 10-year-old little girl is going to be returned to her mother, most likely. A little girl who has unexplained bruising all over her back. Okay, so bring the evidence to Judge Bennett. It's been presented. Edwin. Judge. Judge. Trust me on this, okay? He's not letting the system work. Uh, who's this judge? Wait, no, 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 no. Wayne, no, no. Th this is this is not on the record. Linda. <clears throat> Ms. Goddard. This is not the time nor the place. The foster care system is designed to protect kids. Yeah, well, it's the same for adoptive parents, but uh, this, both systems are messed up. They have its flaws. Okay, yes, yes, the system has its flaws. Too many kids, no oversight, not enough money. Yeah, then these kids are the ones who suffer because of it. Adoptive parents are the real heroes here, along with the brave young women who choose adoption for their kids, but nobody, you know, pays attention to it. They ignore it, you know, and it's same thing for foster. They face the same treatment, you know. My wife talks about this all the time. All right, well, then you should talk about it with your lawmakers. And I'm telling you, Wayne, this is not on the record. Okay. Edwin, you know all about foster parenting, right? Family law. And you, you're the most watched man in Ohio. Guilty. <sighs> no. I am hands-on every single day in this. Okay, we have influence. Call me crazy, but I say we fix it. I say you take it up with your congressman. Don't you want to make a difference? Leave a legacy? You're close to retirement. Come on, Judge. We could really make a difference. Okay. All right, fine. Um, I guess I guess we could look into it. Um, you know, get some people together. I can do a piece on it later tonight. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah we'll get community leaders together and uh, we'll talk about the challenges foster and adoptive parents have to face. Yeah, we'll, we'll come up with some ideas, you know, we'll give them some helping hands here. Yeah. You know what? My wife would be all over this, Edwin. All right. Okay, and where would we do this? I'll talk to Tara. We'll do it at the church. Oh, the church. I thought that was your kryptonite. I identify more with Hercules, actually, but still. Listen. I'll, I'll take the pastor golfing. He loves to golf. I'll talk him into it. He's a good golfer. And speaking of which, I still have time to do nine holes before I go in the air tonight. Come on. Okay, fine. The last thing a judge wants to do is come between a family and their children. I'll, I'll talk to Judge Bennett tomorrow. Go. Thank you. Nice to meet you. She's adorable. Ah. <laughs> Let's go golf. Hey, I'm, um, I'm on my way to work. Uh, you try to eat something, okay? I love you, sis. Yes, Jesus, 
loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. If you're gonna wake me up, you could at least sing it good. Oh, all right, smarty pants. I'm just teasing you. You know that I like it. My favorite memories of us are when you come and sing with me. Hmm, those are some of my favorite memories too, kiddo. Oh, Emma, I'm so sorry. I think we woke you up. Hey, fun fact. Did you know that God sings to us? It's true. The Bible says that he actually sings over us as his children. Imagine that the God of the universe cares about little Ola singing us songs, right? That's why I love singing to you guys so much. But you do need sleep, okay? Let's get some shut eye. Love you guys. Have a good night. What did he say? He gave me the case. Okay, we're, we're gonna postpone parental rights until we can do a home assessment. In the meantime, Emma can stay with the Garcias. Oh, Edwin! Oh, Edwin! <laughs> okay, Miss Goddard, Miss Goddard. Oh. It's Judge. Oh, thank you. You're the best. You did the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, we have a meeting at the church. Okay. 4 p.m. Okay. Thank you. The right inside on the left. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Wayne. How you doing, man? What's up? Good. I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm good. Hey, um, I want to thank you for letting Tara and our friends use the church. Oh, absolutely. It's our honor. You're going to come in and join us, are you? <laughs> I think you know how I feel about churches. Oh, that's right. All the hypocrites. Can I just shoot straight with you, man? I actually think it's a cop-out. I think it's funny how everybody blames Christians for being hypocrites, but what about the hypocrites at your work? I mean, in the newscast? Or, or how about the politicians? There's plenty of those. You and I both know better than that. See, I think there's hypocrites everywhere. I, ironically, the church is one of the only places where people gather and admit they're hypocrites and say, I'm here to get help. You, you know, Wayne, I, I know you've been through a lot, and, and we've talked about a lot a lot of frustrations and questions that you have, but I want you to know that it's okay to be angry with God. He's big enough to handle it. So take your time. Think about this. And if you want, come in, join us. We'd love to have you. Oh, uh, can you please help me? I already got you covered. You're the best, thank you. Hey guys! Hey, wow, this is overwhelming. Thank you so much for coming today. It's uh, pretty impressive. Thank you. Thank you all for coming today. What an amazing turnout. It just shows how much this community cares about these kids. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for showing up. Look, we believe that it will be easiest to tackle this monster if we break it down into groups. Would you agree? For sure. Definitely. Okay, so uh, my trusty assistant, Linda, is going to lead us off. Hello, everyone. Hi. Thank you. 16,000. It's the number of foster kids that we have in Ohio. And this number has increased by 13% in the last year. 6,000. That's the number of foster parents we have in the state. So you guys can do the math. We can talk about a lot of different things here today, but I'm telling you this, this is the biggest issue. Okay, we need more foster parents. 
more people showing up and caring and loving these kids, being the true hands and feet of Jesus. Okay, so how do we do that? La familia è tutto. That means that uh, family is everything in Italian. We need to change the family narrative in America. A foster kid is still a kid. An adopted kid is still a kid. And those kids belong to families. And we need to support those families. And that's legislatively. We need more pro-family laws, resources. Our community really needs to support the parents that are opening their doors to these kids. Hey guys, I don't mean to be the pastor of the bunch, but I am a pastor. <laughs> and while all these things are correct, I truly believe this is a spiritual attack on the families of our culture. You better believe it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, let's get started. We're going to break it down. First group is legislative. Who wants to tackle that? The congressman's wife? Great. Thank you so much. Uh, resources. Yeah. Yeah? Great, guys. Thank you. Uh-oh. Spiritual? You know I'm looking at you, Pastor. <laughs> you think you can handle this one? I've got you, Your Honor. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, the next one is mentorship. This is a big one, guys. And I can tell you, after 15 years on the bench, these kids need good mentors in their lives. Who wants to... Uh, who wants to tackle that one? Jess? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Jess. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next, uh, community and marketing. That's, ah, ah, there he is. <laughs> How you doing, young man? Guys, I would like to nominate my good friend Wayne and his lovely wife to take over community and marketing. I'll thank you in advance, so thank you. And the last one is activism, um, and I'll, I'll take that. If uh, agree to be my partner. Of course I will. Fantastic. <laughs> Great, all right guys, look. Let's divide and conquer. Meet up and let's solve this problem for these kids, okay? Thank you. I didn't know you spoke Italian. Mm -hmm. My mother's Italian. God, we know this topic of adoption and foster care is a big topic. God, we need you. You come, come alongside these kids and families and they would feel the overwhelming sense of our church, uh, of the people of this community to surround them, to love them, and to give them a hope. Oh God, you are a good, good father and you have brought us here for such a time as this. Lord, you say in your word that you chose us mm -hmm. even before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless, that we should be yours. In love, you predestined us for adoption as sons and daughters through Jesus Christ. That was your will before creation. Adoption was a part of your design. So now, Father God, you've given us just such an incredible opportunity, Lord, to be a part of your beautiful will. So in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we thank you that this is your idea, that this is your will. And so we ask that your will be done, that changes be made in people's lives and in their hearts to move forward and to make a change for these beautiful children who are deeply in need of your idea of a family, oh Lord. Continue to break chains, Lord, that keep us, Lord, from doing and walking in your will. Lord, thank you for choosing us. Thank you for loving us. Continue to use us for your glory, that we would reach many. We love you. Amen. 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 Dad? Oh, hey, sweetheart. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm getting involved. Like, your mom told me that you were volunteering here after school, so I, I just wanted to talk to you real quick. Okay. 
I, I can't help but think that, you know, what you're doing here is something to do with your sister. Of course, Dad. It, <laughs> it has everything to do with Ashley. I mean, I, I was her, her big sister. Yeah, you were her big sister. But she's not here. But we are here, Dad. And I just want to tell you, it, it really means the world to me when you say that you want to get involved. It just, I, I'm so proud of you, Dad. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And I love you so much, Dad. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Is that it? No. Uh, your mom and I are going to adopt. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, Dad, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Hello. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Good. There he is. How's it going, young man? Welcome. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Are you boys hungry? Hello, Hi. dog. Good to see you. We got, uh, what do we got? Mac yeah. and cheese. We got pizza. All right, well, we'll show you to your rooms. You can uh, relax and then come down and put your smoke on in. Natalie, you should be a big sister with us. Yeah, I think you'd really enjoy it and you'd be a great addition to our group. What exactly do you guys do? Well, you spend time with the child and yeah. you kind of act like their big sister and give them a friend. Just have fun. Yeah, I'll definitely think about it. Excuse me, I need to talk to my husband. Good to see you. You can't just come in here. Yes, I can. This is a resolution that would increase the financial support to foster parents. See that this gets passed, got it? Look, get this done or Carson and I go on all the morning shows. I'm serious, Jason. Oh, and by the way, sweetie, we're adopting and he's fired. <laughs> he fired. I guess I'm the dummy now. All right, everybody, you guys ready? Yeah. We're gonna pray. Here we go. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day you've given us, and thank you for our family. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that you've added to us. Uh, God, and we thank you for this moment that we can have around the table where we can share in a meal together. And we pray that you would bless this food, that it would be nourishing to us. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Yeah. Was hungry. Yeah. Oh, this looks Me great. too. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, thank you. Good. We are. Oh, that looks good. Because we have a big day tomorrow. No school. No school tomorrow. Yes. yes. Yeah. But, but where are we going though? It's a big surprise. In here. Watching. A documentary about a Christian ministry called Motor Gospel. That kid right there, he was adopted from Russia. Duh. 
Okay, uh, listen. I was wondering, do you guys have any plans for this weekend? Just sitting on this couch watching TV. Oh, oh do I have any plans for this weekend? Oh, thanks for asking, guys. Yeah, um, actually, I mean, it's not much, but uh, I'm gonna ask Barb to marry me. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, and I'm, I'm terrified. Where are you gonna ask her? Dinner. She's gonna say yes. Well, uh, I hope so. Um, but, so I can count on you guys? Yeah. Of you got, course. You got my back? Okay, thanks. Oh, I see you had some chips. Um, you wanted to sample all the bags at once? And I'll dunk it up. No, no, I'm fine. I got this. Is it, what is this? Is this a science experiment when you're trying to grow up a head? Thing's got an eyeball. Oh, come on, guys. What's with the dishes, man? Hey, they're ready for you. All rise. Hear ye, hear ye. The Ohio Family Court is now in session. The Honorable Edwin W. Miller is now presiding. Thank you. You may be seated. Today is a special day. Your Honor. With the court's permission, I would like to first start off with a brief opening statement and then proceed with the order. You may. Emma Lane Johnson, an 11-year-old little girl, had been deprived of the most basic and precious of all human rights. The right to grow up in a loving, safe, and nurturing environment. However, this all changed on July 31st of last year when Jason and Heather Garcia, acting as emergency foster care providers, welcomed Emma into their home. The Garcia family is a well-suited, well-blended family consisting of adopted and foster children. And I think it's safe to say, Emma has truly grown to just adore her foster parents. Um, sadly, six months after placement, Emma's biological mother was found deceased by the Ohio State Police. And it also needs to be noted that the birth father has vacated all parental rights. However, today we are celebrating the Garcia family and their willingness to accept Emma and welcome her into their home, officially making her one of their own. We ask the court to confirm the order. Do you have any objections, Mrs. Towns? No, sir. Okay, you may be seated. Emma, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, I... I love them. I love them so much. Please let me stay forever. Thank you, Emma. You may be seated. Mr. Garcia, how many children do you and your wife have? Five, Your Honor. And how many of those are adopted and fostered? Um, respectfully, Your Honor, we don't use the word adopted or fostering in our house. Just ours. 
Well said, sir. Well said. Would you like to say anything else to the court, sir? Yes, Your Honor. If I may, I would love to approach Emma. You may. Emma, I may not have your skin, and you may not have my eyes, but you'll always have a full heart. In my 15 years on this bench, I have seen the best of families and I have seen the worst of families. From what I have seen, the key is love. Unconditional, everlasting love. Emma, it is my belief that the Garcias would like to share their unconditional, everlasting love with you. So I ask, Emma Johnson, would you like to spend the rest of your life in love with the Garcia family? How about the rest of the Garcia family? Could you please stand? Are you ready to be a supportive big sister? With everything I have. Okay. You may sit. Emma Johnson, this court rules in your favor. Socks, huh? Yeah, the boys showed me that. <laughs> All the hep cats are doing it. So now you're taking now you're taking advice from teenage boys on how to dress them. That's where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is where you work. Yeah, you've been here before. Well, you've been to your office, not the whole hear ye, hear ye, honorable Edwin W. Miller. I'm sure if I came to your work I would be Equally as impressed. Hmm. No. no. That was really something. I mean, adoption is something really special, and what you did. I just hope that that little girl. Emma? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it'll be a little easier on her knowing that her mother's not alive. It's, um... What do you mean? I mean, what I mean is like little, you know, little girls grow up and they start looking for their moms. They love their moms, but their dads too, I mean, but I guess just, just the pain of, you know, growing up feeling like uh, you weren't wanted by your parents. Barb, I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I mean, I, look, I've never met your parents, so. No, 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 I had great parents. Right, Al I met. Alvin, right? Yeah, Alvin and Judy Starkey. From Pittsburgh. Well, Camden met outside. Hey, you wanna come to my place on Saturday for dinner? Sure. I make mean spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to go to work now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Oh, wait. Or should I say, hear ye, hear ye. I have to go to work. Say that if you wish. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Drive safely. Cut! Great job, everybody! Good job. Hello. Hey, uh, Dean, uh, you remember me? Oh, yeah, from the, the golf thing. That was fun. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, well, look, my community is um, doing the awareness program to help you know, foster kids and encourage adoption. And I, uh, I, I just wanted to interview you. 
Well, you know that I am adopted, right? I, I, I do, I do. I mean, that's why I couldn't think of a better person to ask. Well, look, I'd love to help. That's great. Great. I, I would do this out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> All right, look forward to it. We'll set, we'll set up. I'll send, you, uh, I'll send you some information and we'll, uh, we'll make it work. Great. Great. Some grandma out here for you. Hey. Hi. What are, what are you doing here? Some friends asked me to play around this afternoon, and then I remembered that my adopted grandson works here. <laughs> hey, how are you and Tabitha doing? You never called. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday night, I want you and Tabitha to come to my house for dinner. This is not a request. This is redemption for you for not calling. You got it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've got my number and my house address on there. And don't throw it away. It's my scorecard. Wait, wait, Gigi, you... What? You, you shot a 78. I did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so Saturday night. Saturday. All right. See ya. Do you think it should be Ohio Helping Hands or Helping Hands Ohio? Mm. I really like the top one. Mm -hmm. I like the colors. I do too. Hey, honey. Hey, sweetie. Hey, where are the girls? They're upstairs. Hey, Bronson. Come on, let's go shoot some moves. He is so grown. He is. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Me too. Thank you so much. Hello? Yeah, I, I just did an interview with, you're really gonna like it, right? Just, just turn on camera. Honey, that's great. All right, I gotta run. Love you. Okay, love you. Cindy, where's your remote? Turn on chain away. Okay. Adoption is a very, very personal, close, uh, thing to my heart because I am adopted. Um, uh, my father adopted me when I was uh, four years old and he is without a doubt the strongest and biggest influence in my life. Everything oh that I was goodness, able to do in my life and achieve and, go and, and attack, if you will, it was because I had a real strong support structure at home. I, I've always felt like adoption was the greatest thing somebody could do for another person. Didn't he play Superman? Yes. Uh, people can give support and monetarily, they can give their time. Um, to become aware of what's going on in your community. If there's people there that are being fostered, you know, participate. If it's not money, if you're not money rich, there's nothing better than donating your time toward helping uh, others. And it's a really simple thing to do. It's amazing. Hey, Brian. Hi, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna be your big sister. Do I get a hug? <laughs> I am a promise. I am a cabbage oh, field team. Wake up your siblings. I am a promise. <laughs> I will we'll, we'll keep working on it, okay? All right, let me see those sleepy eyes. Figaro, Figaro, Hey, babe. What's what? What? Really? Why? Tara just texted me. They got Isabella. Are you serious? Well, he didn't, he didn't call me. I mean, what's with guys? I mean, I, you know, I can be sensitive too, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, my sauce. <clears throat> okay. Give it a taste. What do you think, huh? You being Italian and all. Mm -hmm. What? 
<laughs> All right, go, go. Where are the boys? They are upstairs, I hope. Can I help? No, I'm fine, especially after that review. <laughs> so babe, um, I've been thinking about taking Anthony down to my old alma mater, Wright State University, Dayton, Ohio, and uh, having him check out the school. I think that's a good idea. You know, and I was thinking, we've never talked about your beauty school. No, we haven't. Are you going to sign up? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never went to beauty school. Well, but you work at a salon. Yeah. And uh, don't you have to have, a, like, a license to cut hair? I think so. I never said I was a cosmetologist. I just said that I worked there. I, um, I just, uh, I just set the appointments and do a little cleanup. Oh, okay. Hey, wait, 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 no, no, bar, bar, bar. Look, I don't care if you're a receptionist or the shampooer or the janitor, okay? I don't care. I just know that I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay? I want that too. I said it. Um, my mother's a hairdresser. She owns the salon. And uh, when I came here a year ago, I, uh, I just, I just wanted to be close to her. So I started working there. She doesn't know who I am. Hey, are you sure about that? Hmm? <laughs> All right, um, I was gonna wait till after dinner, but you need to come with me, come on. I know. I've always known. <laughs> when I was 19, I got pregnant. It was it was a hard time during that. And shamefully, I don't know who father was but I loved you and on that sunny hot day in June I found a family your mother and father and I gave you to them it was the hardest thing I've done in my life but I did it from love and then when you walked into that shop I knew by the grace of God, I knew. But how did you know? I just knew. I love you so much. My daughter. I understand. How did you get here? You'll explain. Well, um, it was, um, it was something that you said when we first met, and then again yesterday with the adoption, right? So I started, I started thinking about it. And also, I wanted to get your dad's permission, your, your adopted dad, right? And he's not Italian. So I called him and uh, I just kind of figured it out. Well, 
waited so long. Yeah. Love you, darling. 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 Surprise! <laughs> Good, to see, Good you. to see you. Guess I'm up. All right, all right, all right. I uh got something that I want to say here. I love you, Barb, and uh, I'd like you to be my wife. This could be the best thing that yeah. I'll ever know. <laughs> 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 Whew, I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> See, they're not even here. Let's just go. Tap, 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 tap. Just give it a chance, okay? Just give it a chance. Just come on. You all right? They're here. They're here. Come in. You're here. Oh, Drake. Tabitha, come in. Welcome to my home. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. You get to get me. Oh, hey guys. What's going on, It's good to see you, man. Hey. I want you to meet somebody. <laughs> this is Gabrielle. Gabby. Say hi to your mom. We Say kept hi. her name. Of course we kept her name. See, so she's our angel baby, yours and ours. Come on in. She's so beautiful. Yes, she looks just like you. Gabby, can you say hi? No. Listen, no matter what, you are always going to be her mother. She's a part of our family, so you are a part of our family. Tab, I'm serious. It's not about a title, who gets to be called mom. It's about love. We love you guys. You have had a chance to prove how much you love her by giving her to us. Okay. Let us prove how much we love you. Please. I told you, you'd always have a GG, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that. That. This is my so beautiful. Oh, oh. oh. Hey everyone, welcome. Thanks for being here. You may be seated. Uh, thanks so much for being here with us today. You're in for a special treat. Judge Edwin Miller and a group of his friends are here with us, and he has to share a presentation, and you're going to be honored by it. Your Honor, take it away. Thank you, Pastor. Wow. Thank you all for coming out. You know, we, we all appreciate it. You know, about a year ago, we gathered together a small group of people, you know, families from this community to help change how we care for our most precious and forgotten children, how we support, encourage, and help our foster care program. I mean, how do we care for our kids? Well, I can tell you, we've all been very busy. Oh, uh, well, apparently uh, one of those kids would like to uh, say a little something. Are, are you guys okay with that? 
Okay. Wait, you didn't tell me there'd be all these stainless people here today. Like who? That guy right there. Oh, that's Wayne. Yes, he's very famous. He's on television and he does the news. What do you think about that? La dee da. <laughs> hey, I think he's pretty handsome, yeah, but I'm better looking. <laughs> oh, you think so? Oh, yeah, because I look like Dean Cain. <laughs> Carson. Now he's also here with his lovely wife. Oh, she's checking me out. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh huh. She's sitting there staring at me like this. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Hey, Judge, you got two for the price of one. But I got a hand in it. <laughs> Please consider being part of this organization. That's right. You don't have to adopt or be a foster parent because there's so many other ways to help out. How's that? That's perfect. And thank you, everyone. Well, uh, Carson is right. Dean Kane. Look, there are many ways you can get involved, and one is supporting foster parents. You can open up a foster care closet here in your church where you, people can come to donate clothes, furniture, even diapers, so that the foster parents can have the things they need for free. Support foster parents by helping give them an evening to themselves. Um, volunteer to watch their kids so they can have a night out. Support adoptive parents with that same passion. Start mentorship programs at your church. Be a part of the solution. And love the birth mothers. And praise them for the unbelievable sacrifice they make and the precious gifts they give us. And get legislatively involved. I mean, that's what Helping Hands is all about. So we invite you to join us and join our community in getting involved in the raising of our children. You know, Proverbs says to train up a child in the way they would go when they are older, they will not depart from it. Proverbs actually means a promise. So we have a promise and a responsibility. I am a brave big one love potentiality and I'm learning to hear God's voice and I'm trying to make the right choice I am a promise to be anything I want me to be <laughs> Hey, Birkin, how are you? <laughs> Come on up to this thing. Yeah. Buy some sauce with them biscuits. <laughs> uh, just I just, sorry. I just wanted to, I had a thought. 
Good to see you. You can't just come in here. Yes, I can. This is a financial... Fin uh, <laughs> <laughs>